Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. Today I will discuss a problem which came in Session June 2023 in Part B. Let's see the problem. Let ux to be the solution of this partial differential equation with 0 less than x less than 2 and t greater than 0 and given u0 t equal to 0 equal to 2t u 2t for all t greater than 0 and also given u x 0 equal to this when 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 and partial derivative of u with respect to t at x comma 0 equal to 0 for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2. We will solve this problem by using Laplace transformation. If we apply Laplace Laplace transform with respect to t then we get Laplace transform of u x t equal to u bar x comma s and Laplace transform of del u del t equal to s u bar x s minus u x comma 0 and Laplace transform of del 2 u del t 2 equal to s square s square u bar x comma s minus s into u x comma 0 minus u t x comma 0 okay and laplace transform of del u del x equal to d u bar d x and laplace transform of del t u del x to equal to d to u bar d x to so given the pass given that partial equation equal to u t t minus u x x equal to zero if i apply laplace transform transformation to this given equation we will get l u t t minus laplace transform of transform of u x x equal to zero from this we will get this and from this we will get this so that becomes s square u bar x comma s minus s u x comma 0 minus u t x 0 minus d2 u bar by d x2 equal to 0. That is given in into the problem equal to 0. So basically we get and u x 0 given this sin got sin pi x plus 2 sin to pi x. So basically we get this becomes 0 and from this we will get t2 u bar by dx2 minus s square u bar x comma s and here we get minus s into u x 0 means sin pi x plus 2 sin 2 pi x sin pi x plus 2 sin 2 pi x ok now the partial differential equation becomes this ordinary differential equation so for the auxiliary solution if we put u equal to e to the power mx then we will get from here we get m s square minus s square equal to 0 this is the auxiliary equation then we get m equal to plus minus s so the complementary function becomes of this differential equation equal to a to a into to the power s x plus b into to the power minus s x so now we have to find 
the particular integral the particular integral equal to 1 by d square minus s square operated on minus s into sin pi x plus 2 into sin 2 pi x okay so basically we get sin pi x operated on sorry sorry basically we get minus s into operated on d square minus s square sin pi x minus 2s into minus 2s into 1 by d square minus s square operated on sin 2 pi x now we know that we know that 1 by phi d square if operated on sin a x then we get sin a x by phi into minus a square okay so from this equation we will get s into sin pi x by we put minus pi square instead of d square so we will get minus pi square minus s square here also we will get my from the d square we will get minus 2 pi square minus 2 pi the whole square that means minus 4 pi square so we will get sin 2 pi x by minus 4 pi square minus s square so basically we get say s into sin pi x by pi square plus s square plus 2s sin 2 pi x by 2 pi x by 4 pi square plus s square okay so particular integral becomes this one and the complementary function becomes this one so the general solution will becomes u x u bar x s equal to a to the power a to the power s x a, a to the power s x plus b into to the power minus s x plus s into sin pi x by pi s square plus s square plus 2s into sin 2 pi x by 4 pi s square by plus s square this is the general solution we will get now now go to the condition here now go to the condition what is given in the condition u0 t equal to 0 equal to u2 t equal to also 0 so u0 t equal to 0 and another is u2 t equal to 0 if we take the laplace transformation here l u0 comma t then we get 0 from here we will get u bar 0 comma s equal to 0 here also we if we take laplace transformation we will get u bar 2 comma s equal to 0 now use this condition into this equation so from here we will get if i put 0 instead of x we will get a to the power 0 means a, a b to the power minus 0 that means 1 b a plus b and from if i put 0 here sin 0 means 0 here also sin 0 so 0 so basically we get a plus b equal to 0 if we put 2 here 2s here we will get a to the power 2s plus b into to the power minus 2s from there we will get sin 2 pi that becomes 0 here we get sin 4 pi that also becomes 0 basically we get from here we get 0 so basically we get a, a into to the power 2s plus b into to the power minus 2s equal to 0 this is homogeneous equation in ab so the coefficient matrix becomes 1 1 e to the power 2s e to the power minus 2s so we will get if i calculate the determinant of the coefficient matrix we will get e to the power minus 2s minus e to the power 2s so if i take common e to the power minus 2s we will get 1 minus e to the power 4s that is not equal to 0 okay because it, it is not equal to 1 for for s 
not equal to zero. So that is becomes not equal to zero. So so the solution becomes a equal to b equal to zero. So the finally we will get the solution. This term will vanish. So basically we get this solution. So u u a bar x is equal to what? Basically s sin pi x by pi square plus s square s sin pi x by pi square plus s square plus 2s sin 2 pi x plus 2s sin 2 pi x by 4 pi square plus s square. Let's see 4 pi square plus s square. So if I take inverse Laplace transformation from here, we will get u bar x s Here we also get sin pi x L inverse s by pi square plus s square 2 sin 2 pi x L inverse s by 4 pi square plus s square. From this we will get cos, cos pi t. So basically we get sin pi x into cos pi t. From this we will get 2 sin pi 2 pi x. 4 pi square means 2 pi tau whole square. So basically we will, we will get cos 2 pi t. And here we will get Laplace transformation, inverse Laplace transformation of u bar x s, you will get u x t. So basically the solution becomes now u x t equal to sin pi x into cos pi t plus 2 sin 2 pi x into cos 2 pi t. So we now we have to find the value what is given in the first option given 1 1 u 1 1 equal to minus 1. So we have to find u 1 1. We have to find u 1 1. If I put 1 we will get sin pi into cos pi plus 2 sin 2 pi into cos 2 pi. Sin 2 pi equal to 0. So it and sin pi also 0. So basically we get 0 from here. Okay. In the option to what to, in the so we get u11 equal to 0, but given u11 equal to minus 1. So first option is false. In the second second option, we have to find u half comma 1. So let's check u half comma 1. So if I put this in this equation we will get sin pi by 2 cos pi plus 2 sin pi into cos 2 pi sin pi by 2 equal to 1 cos pi means minus 1 to sin pi equal to 0 so that becomes 0 so basically we get minus 1 let's check you have comma 1 is what you have comma 1 is given 0, we get minus 1. So option 2 is also false. Option 1 and 2 becomes are, are, are becoming false. Now we have to find u half comma 2. u half comma 2. So if I put half comma 2 here, you will get sin pi by 2 into cos 2 pi plus 2 sin pi into cos 4 pi from here we will get 0 and from this we what we will get 1 into sin cos 2 pi also 1 and plus 0 so basically we get 1 let's check so u half comma 2 equal to 1 and we find also 1 so option 3 is true now we have to find u t half comma half so first we have to derivative with respect to t in so let's check if i derivative u t x t then we will get you will get here sin pi x that becomes okay cos pi 2 will becomes minus pi sin pi t okay now plus 2 sin 2 pi x is okay 
from cos 2 pi 2 we will get from cos 2 pi 2 we will get minus 2 pi sin 2 pi t so basically we will get minus pi into sin pi x sin pi t minus 4 pi into sin 2 pi x into sin 2 pi t okay so we have to find ut half comma half if i put this we will get pi into sin pi by 2 into sin pi by 2 minus 4 pi into sin pi into sin pi sin pi is 0 so from this we will get 0 and this is 1 so from this we will get minus pi into 1 into 1 plus 0 so basically we get minus pi let's let's check the option we get minus pi here but it is there given plus pi so option 4 is also false so option 3 is true thank you for watching video watching this video please subscribe our channel and support us thank you